Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. We may be about to have a brand new mRNA product approved. I didn't think that this would happen for a very, very long time, but it may in fact be imminent. Let me share this very recent story with you from this week. So I first saw this news reported on CNBC. Moderna says RSV jab is 84% effective at preventing disease in older adults. 84% effective. Key points. The RSV jab was 83.7% effective at preventing lower respiratory tract disease, defined as two or more symptoms, in people above the age of 60, according to Moderna. It then talks about how many deaths there are in older adults due to RSV and how many hospitalizations. I found this interesting because traditionally we associate RSV with childhood and infancy infections. In fact, we rarely tested for it before in older adults. But now we are finding more adults, more older adults with this condition. Moderna's RSV jab uses the same messenger RNA technology, that's mRNA technology, as its successful pandemic shots. So that is a very interesting series of headlines. Let's dive into this story a little bit further. Moderna on Tuesday said its jab that targets respiratory syncytial virus, that's RSV, is effective at preventing disease in older adults. The jab was 83.7% effective at preventing lower respiratory tract disease, defined as two or more symptoms, in people aged 60 or older, according to the Boston Biotech Company. It was 82.4% effective at preventing lower respiratory tract disease with three or more symptoms. No safety concerns have been identified during the clinical trial, according to Moderna. The safety and efficacy data from the trial will be published in a peer-reviewed journal. I look very forward to looking at that. According to the company, the clinical trial has enrolled about 37,000 people in 22 countries. So how soon could this be released? How soon could it be brought to market? Moderna said it plans to file an application for approval by the Food and Drug Administration, that's the FDA, in the first half of this year. There currently is no FDA-approved jab for RSV. Moderna's stock rose nearly 7% in extended trading. Good for them. Their stock rose. Isn't that the most important thing? The article then talks again about the morbidity of RSV, and they actually blame the unusually severe RSV season on the fact that the public largely stopped practicing public health measures implemented during the pandemic. That's an interesting thing to say. And they stress here how Moderna's new RSV jab uses the same messenger RNA technology as the company's successful pandemic shots. Those shots, of course, turned Moderna into a global name and delivered windfall profits but it remains the company's only commercially available product and demand is falling. So I guess the company needs to figure out new ways to make a profit here. And this last paragraph caught my attention. The Boston biotech company faces growing pressure to demonstrate that other products in its pipeline will successfully come to market. Morgan Stanley estimates the market for an adult RSV jab is $7 billion dollars to $10 billion, a lot of money. So when I first saw that story, I did go online and I thought to myself, let me research a little bit more about this particular story. And it was ever so interesting because the very first publications that came up when I did my search were not medical or scientific publications or even any publications from our corrupted mainstream media. They were all, you guessed it, financial publications to do with how much money this was going to make. It seemed to be a very exciting prospect to the people who are going to make money from it. Take a look at these publications, which were among the first that came up when I did the search for this new product. Here we have Investors Business Daily. Pharmaceutical stocks come close to cracking a multi-billion dollar RSV jab market. And here we have Barron's. Moderna says its RSV jab trial was a success. A clash with Pfizer and GSK looms. So these big companies may be going to war with each other. What about this? The Wall Street Journal. Moderna reports RSV jab cuts risk of respiratory diseases in older adults. So these financial people are also very excited. So what are my thoughts on this particular story? Well, first and foremost, as I alluded to just then, 
Isn't it ever so interesting that the most excited people are the business people and it's all about how much money is going to be made. That's all they are focusing on. The medical people are not excited just yet. Maybe that will change over the upcoming months because we know the rules for every establishment, not least the medical establishment, is to always follow the money. That's how these things work. But clearly, these companies are very, very excited about a multi-billion dollar product hitting the market soon. Secondly, I will admit I am likely to be proved completely wrong because I thought that it would be a very, very long time before another mRNA product was approved. And I base that on everything we've seen over the last couple of years, all of the controversy, the concern about efficacy thresholds, what they should be, safety concerns, etc. I really didn't see another mRNA product coming to market for a long time. But this may be about to happen imminently. And finally, think about this. I've made videos about this before. The big pharma companies are up to their old games again. What we expect for them, those of us who are red-pilled, they are entirely focused on relative risk reduction. That statistic, that greatly exaggerates the benefit of any particular therapeutic product. Relative risk reduction is very different from absolute risk reduction and number needed to treat. Those latter two, absolute risk reduction and number needed to treat, are critical concepts that often give you a much more accurate picture of how successful a product is. But big pharma companies will never do that. And what's worse is the medical establishment rarely now does that either. It's all about relative risk reduction. So let's see how this particular story evolves over the upcoming months. We're going to watch this space very, very carefully. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do check out my new online course, The Dr. Dand Method. That link is down below, as is a link to my uncensored platform, Locals.com. Thank you all again, and we will talk again very soon.